Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, September 13th, and today's the day that we're getting the seed in the ground. My neighbor rented a slit seeder. Uh, he's doing his yard right now. Uh, we have some rain scheduled for this afternoon, which is good. Uh, I think I got the irrigation, how we're going to keep the seed moist figured out. So it should be an exciting day. It's been a, it's been a lot of work getting here, so let's do this. All right, so let's take a look at the seed here. Uh, it's called Super Turf 2 by uh, United Seeds Incorporated. I got it online at unitedseedsonline.com. Uh, here's the label. So it's, you know, I think it's said some like 90% turf type tall fescue and 10% Kentucky bluegrass. Maybe a little less. Um, uh, there's no crop seeds, no weed seeds, um, no excess noxious weeds. So I got uh, two 50 pound bags. Uh, the total for both of them shipped to New Hampshire was, I believe like 250 bucks. Um, so I'm pretty happy with what I got here. And let's go look at the pre-seeding situation. All right, so here's my front lawn. You can see I raked it up pretty good. Uh, I got it all smoothed out as best as I could. Uh, it actually came out really good. I'm gonna plant right up to here. I'm gonna actually put some rocks back there and get this all cleaned up later on. But uh, you know, the front yard, I'm really happy with how the front yard turned out. It did take a lot of effort, 20, 30 hours of just being out here with the rake, you know, just raking everything up, just grinding the surface of the dirt to, you know, cut down some of the high spots and rake them to the low spots. Here's the uh, front between the street and the driveway. Um, I used to scalp the lawn up there, so I was able to cut that hill down. Real excited about that. Same with right over there, cut that down. It just looks really good. And here's the grass. It looks amazing. So, I have never planted grass, let alone take on a renovation before. So I'm gonna do an experiment here. I got really nice soil that's, you know, clear of rocks. It's uh, ready to be planted. And then I got this area right over here that I only use Roundup on, but I didn't clean it up. So I'm gonna plant some grass too, if I have the seed left over. It's gonna be an experiment just to see, you know, what the difference is, how the grass grows, how it comes in. That shit ain't easy. Nope. I'm done. Oh my god. Slice eating and rolling ain't easy. Must be out of shape or something, but I slice seeded that whole thing. And the ground's pretty uh pretty loose, so I ran that roller over it and I am dying. Ah, oh, Jesus, I got to do the front yard now, but I really thought that was going to be the self-propelled, this is the, uh, this is the easy part, no, this may be, may be the hardest part. <sighs> Alright, so I just put down the seed and the fertilizer, here's what I went with, got that at Home Depot, it's a 20-27-5, um, you know, that was one of the only things that I really didn't research here was what starter fertilizer to use. There was Lesco, there was Vigoro, uh, and there was Scott's. And the reason I went with this one, I don't know if this makes any sense, but it had a higher nitrogen number. And um, the Lesco one said slow release. And I am afraid of slow right now because it is getting late in the season, so fertilizers down and um, here's our uh, that's what the ground looks like I used the slice seeder and I went two different directions dropped the fertilizer raked it all in and front and backyard so here we go so 
Let's talk about irrigation for a second. Um, here in New Hampshire, we're in the midst of a drought. I went to the uh, water department and I said, hey, can I get permission to uh, water twice a day? And they said, uh, typically they let that happen, but the water is just so, such a drought that they can't let that happen right now. So as for the irrigation, you know, I was gonna do the uh, in-ground sprinklers, but you know, um, time ran out and I couldn't come up with a plan that I was happy about. I thought I had it figured out and then turns out that I didn't have it figured out. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, I have a hose connected to like this orbit timer that has four different zones and I have some of that black pipe. I got a couple sprinklers on it. You can see that there's a flag right there and there's a flag down there and I'm just going to put the sprinklers above ground and zip tie them to stakes. I have one right there, one right there, one here, one here, one down there, one down there. So basically like three or four zones. And that's how I'm gonna keep the uh, seed moist and get it established. And as for the front yard, the plan is to hand water it. So, so, yeah, I'm just a freaking mess here. Disgusting, covered in dirt. I am so glad that I am uh, at the point where I just have to water. This was a major undertaking. Uh, my lungs are full of dirt. It's disgusting. Um, I'm just done with this project. So, I appreciate all the followers. Shout out to Grass Daddy. I've been watching uh, everything you're doing. Uh, we're kind of doing, comp trying to accomplish the same things, doing things uh, a little bit differently. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what works and what doesn't. Um, shout out to all my other followers who've been giving me some great tips on irrigation and, and whatnot. And so. Um, if everything goes according to plan, we should have some grass here in five days or so, a week, two weeks. It should be really good. Uh, I should be mowing in two and a half to three. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.